So today's video is the Eritrean national chance. Unfortunately, it seemed to be live streamed from the off, but I could only download like the last two hours. So the break is already gone, but it was Nahawi Kudus and Nat Nal Tetsvatsion who are going. You can see here a big attack from Kudus trying to get rid of Tetsvatsion. Tetsvatsion is the fastest sprinter. We're going to see what happens in a minute. It was sort of a rolling, undulating course, not super climby, but not really flat either. Uh, it was it was a shame I couldn't see more of it to be honest because it looked actually quite a good race I believe they also had the women's national champs going on at the same time. It's very hard to follow them both I'm not gonna lie. Um, so there's many focused on the men's uh, national champs I think they also might be on 23s as well um, It was quite clever. They managed to do on a circuit and not have like a helicopter in the sky But it was basically like lion feed so but they had enough cameras that you could basically watch the whole race So you can see here more code keeps on attacking. The issue is Tets Fatson is very good as you saw in my, probably in my previous videos he won a man top, top finish up Monte Grappa in um, Adriatica Ionica. So it's, it's not really like that easy to drop in. You can see behind you've got Gamay, uh, Henok Mulburian for Bariani GSF is there. The rest of them um, don't actually have a, like a continental team or below. So they're all basically amateurs, um, but they're all pretty strong as well. Um, and it'd be interesting to see if there are any World Tour scouts or anyone look, looking at some of these riders, uh, because I think after what Gamay, Tetsvatsion, etc. have achieved, um, it's definitely opened their eyes. So here's the women's national champs going as well. I believe she is off the front, um, but I'm not 100% sure. It was very confusing. And also I, the language issue is, is large for me as well. Um, but yeah, you can see Byrax on the back, um, pretty wide roads, nothing like crazy technical. There are a couple of fast corners, but nothing too much. Um, pretty well spectated. And you can see here, here's the people trying to bridge across. Here's Gamaya. Again, you can see in the luminous yellow, trying to follow bridges, but to be honest, I guess the issue for him is he's so he's so heavily marked. Everyone knows he's a world tour rider, but also like a world class world tour rider, like you know top top guy. Um, Tech Heimann, sorry not Tech Heimann. Um, Gabriel Zebia was there for Trek Segafredo as well. Um, in the main bunch, but he didn't manage to get a top ten. I haven't got the full results. I've only got first and ninth here, but he didn't manage to get first or ninth. But yeah, it looked like a pretty selective course. You can see here again, it's like the gap is pretty large. There's no real chance of them getting brought back anytime soon. Um, you can see Kudas here is sort of gesticulating to Tetsvatsu and he wants him to pull, but I guess Tetsvatsu is probably like, well, if you keep on attacking me, I'm not really going to do any work. Um, so there's like the motor behind. You can see that is like a fat, fat gap because they're still not coming into picture. Um, and that really, I guess, goes to show um, like, you know, this the surge stop racing, like chasing just doesn't really work. Like, Gamay in some ways probably should have just launched it and not cared if anyone was his wheel and just tried to get across because I reckon even if those guys did get across with him, he probably would bin them in a sprint. But I think you know, obviously it's hard to do that. And also psychologically, it's annoying when people are on your wheel. So you can see there were more attacks up this climb as well, um, which was starting to split the field. It was definitely like a war of attrition, um, except the winning break. It was like more just people going off the back than anything else. No one actually managed to bridge up to the two leaders at any point in the race. Um, which I guess does make sense, like, you know, it's going to be a tough one. Um, but anyway, coming towards the finale of the race, I believe that's basically not much happened in between. They just rode around. People tried to chase, nothing really happened. Um, but this is the bit, I guess, is more of the talking point than anything else on the race, which is why we expected a sprint. I expected a sprint. You saw Kahoudis, you saw Tetsvatsion, you're like, okay, Tetsvatsion's going to batter him, surely. I mean, Tetsvatsion is like top 10 Giro d'Italia sprinter in a bunch sprint. Um, but actually something really interesting happened here and you might already know, but he decided to give the win away. He just said, you're the stronger man, um, and you can have the win, which I thought was an unbelievable gesture, but you can see Tetsvatsun says here, yeah, you can have the win. People were like, oh, maybe it's all to do with the world tour points. And Tetsvatsun was like, Kudos was like, we need the world tour points. Can you just like, you know, whack us number? It's only 50 points. So I, I don't think it is that. I think Tets Fatsion was just probably like, he's the stronger boy on the day. I don't want to bid him in the sprint. I'm not sure. I mean, that shows there's still honour in cycling. Uh, I'm sure on the race cycling so Twitter would enjoy this. Uh, well, maybe not. But yeah, interesting. Let me know your thoughts below. Like, should Tets Fatsion have sprinted? Should Tets Fatsion have given it away? Uh, I'm not so sure. I think if I was Tets Fatsion, I'd find it very hard to give it away. I guess maybe they're really good friends and it isn't necessarily an issue. But I think for me, if it was coming to the final... Um, especially in such a big race, like it'll be hard to just not sprint if you knew you're going to bin them. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick little highlights. Um, should have some more national chance hopefully throughout the week. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.